So this is a little baby chick story and their arrival and making a mistake and reconsolidating some long ago fear and sadness and shame. So it'll take a couple minutes, but we got these thousand baby chicks and then I mean, the mistake I made was putting the water inside of their little housing because it's cold. I thought it was a good idea, but chickens got wet and the next morning 70 of those little guys had died. And I was up here alone taking care of these little guys and just these huge feelings of sadness and fear and kind of this just shame of being like this bad person who could do this. And I was alone, took care of the chicks, had all these feelings, and I used the work of reconsolidation, of really paying attention to that and then going out and grabbing some calm coming back and paying attention to the upsets, going out and grabbing some more calm. I did that back and forth most of the day. Took some walks in the snow with the dogs. The thing I wanted to tell you was that the next day, Sunday, when I came back, all those feelings of fear and sadness and shame were just gone. And it wasn't like I had done the hard work of figuring it out or making sense of it all. It wasn't that. It was that I had gone back and forth between what was upsetting in the past and the fears of like how this would affect the future for our farm and the situation of being right there and the fear and the sadness I was feeling. Going back and forth between that and that calm space that I've talked to you about in other times. And a lot of people when I work with them they say, gosh I just can't believe it, I don't feel that anymore. And I was laughing the next day because it was like, I don't really believe this either, how differently I feel. So, the ice method. You identify an upset. For me, it was the fear and the sadness around these baby chicks that had died. You go out to a calm space, you find a space that has nothing in it, and you just observe that space. Physiologically, your stress response turns off to create different chemistry in yourself. And then when you go back to that original upset, you literally replace what was stored inside of you or has been stored. For me, all the way back into childhood. Back and forth, back and forth on whatever it is that has the upset in it. Between the calm space and the upset. Check it the next day and see what's left. For me, it was a remarkably unbelievable different feeling. So when people say, oh, I can't believe it, it's like, yeah, I get that. But still, I invite you to give it a shot. Identify calm exchange, the ice method, and see what a difference it makes for you. All right, well, as you can see, the baby chicks are doing lovely now. They're drinking, they're eating, they're all fluffy, cheeping, they're sleeping well. We're looking forward to y'all growing up, being big, happy hands, eating lots of good food, leftovers, and laying lots of great eggs for people here in Chelan. All right, I hope this was interesting to you. It's all interesting to me, that's for sure. Take care. Blessings for the day. Bye-bye.